Hello, hello, Mordimers here and welcome again today because something incredible happened. Magnus Carlsen actually streamed on Twitch and I'm not sure he was trolling or the, the drama with Hikaru Nakamura and chess.com platform continues, but Magnus Carlsen played on the uh, chess.com uh, platform, but it, he made it look like, you know, uh, chess24. So uh, I'm not sure what was the idea here, uh, but the most important, uh, he just produced a six hours of stream so he played a lot of interesting games however in one of these games i think this was the most beautiful uh, the game in 2020 so uh, we have uh, this masterpiece which i would like to show you now i am gonna introduce you the opponent so magnus carlsen uh, nobody uh, needs the introduction but he's the world champion uh, by ranking number two in blitz because that was the blitz uh, so uh, he's ranking 2887 uh, but of course he is the world champion triple world champion um, in blitz also in rapid and also in the standard time control he's 29 years old from norway and he's gonna play as black and his opponent luis paulo supi uh, grandmaster from brazil however uh, his ranking on blitz is not as high as uh, regular rankings uh, maybe he didn't play as many tournaments uh, but the ranking is 2369 he is from brazil uh, and he is only 23 years old and he's gonna play as white so without further ado let's see what magic happened on the board we have e four by Supi and d5 by Magnus Carl Carlsen. Scandinavian defense, very standard. Magnus Carlsen plays very often. E takes on d5, queen takes on d5 and now not knight on c3 which usually Magnus goes for uh, queen on d6 and there are a lot of uh, interesting and sharp lines over there uh, but rather knight on f3. And the idea here is to uh, just castle very fast. Bishop on e2, just castle, play d4, c4, control the center, develop pieces and, and, and so on. So that is the idea. So we have bishop on g4 by Magnus Carlsen, bishop on e2 and here knight on c6. So as you see, black also can castle very, very fast. Uh, and here the main line, I would just show you the main line because it's also quite crazy. d4. Uh, castle on the queen side and now c4 uh, kicking the queen the point is after queen on f5 the pawn is attacked twice okay by the knight and by the rook um, so something has to be done about that pushing the pawn on d5 is not so great uh, because there is no threat here because the the pawn is pinned anyway so actually that doesn't make much sense so bishop on e3 is usually played and after bishop f3 bishop f3 black sacrifice the knight on d4 that's temporary but it looks like you know uh, very interesting so knight on d4 bishop d4 and then queen e6 with check uh, bishop e2 and now queen e4 with the attack on the bishop and it's double attack the bishop is of course uh, pinned so cannot be moved and also the queen uh, is looking on g2 so the position is very very interesting and after castle queen takes on d4 and black actually are slightly behind the development however um have one extra pawn and pawn is also always the pawn uh so definitely interesting so this is the main line of the opening however luis paulo supi play knight on c3 kicking the queen uh, now queen goes to d7 as the bishop is already developed so you know moving the the queen on d6 uh, is not necessary in this position and we have h3 kicking and uh, the bishop and here is this is still a theory uh, bishop on h5 of course is possible but the most popular move uh, is bishop takes on f3 eliminating the defender of the of the king side castle we have bishop on f3 and now castle by magnus carlsen we have also a uh, castle by supi and here uh, knight on f6 was played already normal developing move uh, but also kramnik play e5 against morozevich just you know uh, 
11 years ago and he won that game so e5 uh, with the rapid development makes a uh, position of black really really uh, comfortable to play however magnus carlsen this is blitz he has a different idea he play knight on d4 keeping an eye on this bishop as this bishop you know uh, looking at b7 and sometimes can be very very annoying so uh, here is the idea also the future moves like you know uh, moving the pawn on d4 will not be possible as the knight you know is blocking the, the pawn so development in the center uh, and here we have a4 uh, a4 move, uh, but the idea is not to, you know, run with the pawn like the chicken with the cut head. Uh, no, not this is not the, the idea. Here, the idea is completely different. After king on b8, we have knight on b5. So kicking away this knight. And uh, actually, it's a very nice uh, pawn sacrifice, which of course um, nobody would take. Uh, because after knight on b5... Uh, and taking the, the pawn uh, this rook would be already developed uh, on the semi-open file and um, also d3 is coming bishop can be developed maybe this way maybe this way uh, and black doesn't have even much pieces on the front only the queen which is very vulnerable and uh, white just gonna have the crushing attack here so definitely bad idea you know how to take this pawn uh, and also keep in mind that the knight is under attack so Magnus Carlsen eliminates the bishop as the bishop was also looking at b7. Uh, we have queen on f3 by Supi and now a6 kicking the knight. And here Luis Paulo Supi, uh, you know, didn't freak out. He didn't move the, the knights. Actually, these are the best move in the position. Also d4, aggressive move, uh, sacrificing the knight also can be played uh, because the bishop can enter the game very, very fast. So uh, that would be the idea. However, we have c4. No idea why we have the c4. This is the, actually the engine shows that this is the blunder. Maybe that was the mouse slip. Maybe this is a different idea. Uh, Magnus Carlsen should just take, you know, in this position should just take and play queen on d3 blocking d2. So this was possible to block d2 uh, and now this bishop cannot enter the game to f4, cannot the, enter the game here. So uh, this would be the saving day for the Magnus Carlsen. He would play with the extra piece. So uh, even queen on f7 just e5 uh, develop the pieces very fast uh, or even here and create maybe some chances maybe move the bishop uh, there are a lot of plans and definitely uh, connect the rooks and black stands really really great here extra pieces extra piece so definitely good idea however after c4 magnus play developing move first e5 so developing move uh, so bishop now for example opening the diagonal for the bishop but also controlling f4 uh, so the bishop uh, from c1 cannot be developed to f4 and attack together with the knight. That would be uh, quite annoying. So uh, that is the idea. But here Supi just, you know, goes all in. He doesn't care about the material uh, and now sacrifice the pawn on d4. Now take it or don't take it. Uh, Magnus shouldn't take it just you know continue development knight e7 would be okay uh, d takes on e5 yes that's the possible but knight c6 and his position is quite strong uh, and comfortable to play he is the pawn down and quite annoying e5 pawn uh, but this pawn without support uh, you know Magnus uh, have the time you know to win that pawn back and then continue the game however Magnus was a bit greedy here and he played e takes on d4 so now he doesn't have the control uh, on f4 square which can be very very important because bishop on f4 was played immediately here and look at this we already have very very serious threat and what to play as black now actually rook on c8 is the strongest move in the position it's very passive move so white definitely you know gonna continue the attack uh, bishop on d6 actually also could be played by it's also not really great uh, because now white gonna you know just exchange um, the knight which was under attack so knight
knight d6, c takes on d6, b4, and this attack gonna be very, very strong. Uh, rook can join, uh, the bishop is already on the same diagonal, the queen is watching uh, on the king's position. This is just, you know, lost for black. So uh, Magnus just, you know, if he is under attack, at least he gonna take the piece. Then when he defends, then he can give the, the piece back if he can. And, and he just takes A takes on B5. We have A takes on B5 and only now Bishop on D6, challenging the Bishop on F4. So now everything looks like, you know, black position is fine. However, there are two ways to win that game. And let's call them uh, like Emmanuel Lasker, uh, said one is the butcher way and one is the artist way so first i will show you the butcher way uh, but luckily for us uh, luis paulo supi choose the artist way so uh, c5 is the is the butcher way the idea is very simple the queen want to go on a3 and checkmate just on a8 and that's all and that's all this is the idea so uh, now as you see the bishop cannot control a3 so bishop c5 and now b6 b6 uh, and here is the idea if bishop takes then of course we're gonna have uh, queen on a3 and checkmate is coming uh, the pawn is pinned so cannot take uh, so actually after knight on e7 or whatever move bishop c7 is is coming and that is the butcher way there is only one move uh, queen on c8 that would be a checkmate and the second move is actually sacrificing the queen to not get checkmated so as you see uh, white is winning but that's the butcher way but Luis Paolo Supi play the artist way and he play rook on a2. Very subtle idea and very simple idea. Help your pieces, your pieces will help you. Now rook gonna come to a1, uh, double the rooks and checkmate is coming. So uh, Magnus Carlsen of course see that's dangerous and he play queen on f5. Now attacking the bishop twice so he can win the bishop but also make a very very comfortable path uh, for the king so seems like magnus carlsen escaping the judgment uh, what mr supi did rook f on a1 as planned and now uh, magnus just gonna escape king c8 uh, and here feel free to pause the video and show the artist way uh, how to win that game while i enjoy my cup of tea Okay, ready? So uh, if you've seen the thumbnail, then probably uh, I destroy your fun. So sorry about that. If you haven't seen that and you found this move, then congratulations. And if you if you couldn't find this, then look at this. Queen on c6, bang! And this is incredible move. So sacrificing of the queen and Magnus was just speechless. I'm gonna leave the link in the description to the reaction of Magnus, but it's on Twitch TV, so probably it's gonna be removed pretty soon, so watch it now, and if you watch this video later, then uh, you have to find yourself, but Magnus was just speechless. He just make, whoa, whoa, and it's like, you know, uh, just just incredible reaction and uh, what is the idea of course the queen now cut the escaping path of the king so king cannot escape uh, and the checkmate is coming and black cannot do anything because after b takes on c6 b takes on c6 checkmate is coming anyway the only thing uh, black can do just throw a couple of pieces uh, but it doesn't really matter queen on b1 maybe distract the rook but it still doesn't matter king b8 because uh, you know the checkmate was coming but but it's still you know just a checkmate whatever move is, is done and then it's just checkmate so uh, beautiful game beautiful game so you know uh, I'm very happy I just spot that and uh, if you enjoyed that video just press like and if you didn't enjoy still press like because this is just beautiful and if you don't want to miss any other content I produce uh, press subscribe smash the bell button and thanks for watching and see you in the next one